brethren and sisters from all over the world can get involved, either directly or indirectly, with a lot of our projects. Sister Jennifer Malay came out here last year and um, visited some of our preschools. And she saw a big need with the children because it really gets cold in South Africa. It gets well below freezing point. A lot of the children at the preschool have sleeping time. They have to sleep on a floor, which is often just a cement floor. If the teacher can afford it, they have a carpet or they sleep on a blanket. What she did is she started the Snuggles program, which goes well with our Cuddle program. Snuggles stands for supporting needs of the underprivileged through generous gifts of love in every stitch, which I think is so beautiful because what it means is that our brethren and sisters are having an opportunity in America to contribute to a massive need we have in South Africa. Jennifer um, and the brethren and sisters send us just the squares. And then the squares come to a piwe, and on a Wednesday afternoon, um, I have the women from the community come to a piwe from one o'clock to half past two. We sit and we have shown them how to join these squares together. And we have said to them that everyone, for every blanket that they complete, they can take that blanket to their preschool, so free of charge, that is their blanket. And while they're busy doing this, I run a ladies' Bible club. I do a sister's class, um, sharing biblical knowledge with them. So they will ask me a question either about a person in the Bible, or they will ask me about an event, or they will ask me about a book in the Bible. And I found it's more effective to answer a question that is important to someone at that at that precise moment rather than following a fixed program and it might not be relevant to them in their lives. And also with them having to join the squares together, they've now put some skin in the game. So they're going to look after that blanket far more than what if they had just got a completed blanket. Um, so it's one of those really beautiful efforts that's happening here where we have got brethren and sisters contributing to and doing outreach work, but it's on a long distance basis.